So, today we are not going to be playing Destroy All Humans because honestly, playing Destroy All Humans would have felt like work today. So, um, I'm going to end up messing up my schedule. I had this whole great thing planned because September 20th is actually going to be the two year anniversary of the release of today's game on the Switch, which is. Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Now, this is not the original Link's Awakening for the Game Boy, um, which I played obsessively as a child. It is the Switch remake, but it is beautiful, it is cute, and I am hyped to play it. So, without further ado, let's get started. I guess I'll play on Makusto. Most of my stuff I play on Makusto. Here we go. Gotta watch the intro video, obviously. This is a pretty faithful recreation of the original intro scene, just obviously, like, way cuter and more colorful, but... We're just jamming to the music. This is, this is the stream today. We're not going to actually play, we're just going to listen to the music. Okay, we'll start. You can see I've got all these files. Um, can I delete stuff? How do I delete files? I want to delete it. Oh no! Can I not delete files? Hang on a second, that makes no sense. I guess I just start this one and then... No? I want to delete. I want to delete it. You can see I haven't played this game in like a year, so... Oh! Well, well doy! We're learning. I'm really sad. I'm, I'm disappointed in myself for never beating this game. I was extremely excited to get this game when it came out for the Switch. Um, and then I just got distracted by Pokemon and other stuff and just <laughs> never beat it. <laughs> um, anyway. We will be playing on normal difficulty with normal name. Lonk. What a relief! I thought you'd never wake up. You were tossing and turning. What? Zelda? No, my name's Marin. You must still be feeling a little woozy. You are on Koholent Island. Follow the lane south to reach the beach where I found you. Since you washed ashore, lots of nasty monsters have been in the area, so be careful, okay? Oh, I can't use the plus. Ugh. Okay, that's right. 
Well, Link, you finally snapped out of it. Name's Terran. Hope you're feeling better. What? How did I know your name? <laughs> you think it's weird, eh? Well, I saw it on the back of the shield. Da -da 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 -da. You got your shield back. Hold R to repel enemies with it. So this right here, I will say that this is the game is instantly easier now than it was because you've got extra buttons. Um, it used to be in the original Link's Awakening. You had to assign the shield to your A or B button. Um, we'll be able to do a lot more in combat and stuff like that in the Switch version, which does make it a little more... I don't know if it makes it easier. It makes it use, more user-friendly, definitely. Look at them! They're so cute! Yahoo! I'm fine, and you? Okay. Also, in the original version, all of these little, like, clearly laid out blocks would have been individual screens in the game. Like, you would... You'd be shifting from screen to screen for these. Ah, and he's puny. Hey, man. When you want to save, hit up the system screen. You get there by opening the subscreen with plus, then pressing R to get to the system screen. Uh... Don't ask me what that means. I'm just a kid. <laughs> ah! It's Lola. Oh, God. <laughs> she seems friendly till you get close. <laughs> Wee. Wee. Oh. Fuck you. Get out of here. Uh oh. <clears throat> hoot hoot! So you are the lad who owns the sword. Now I understand why the monsters are starting to act so violently. A courageous lad has come to wake the windfish. It is said that you cannot leave the island unless you wake the windfish. You should now go north to the mysterious forest. I will wait for you there. Hoot! Rawr. Hey, Twofer! We are just getting started. Welcome, welcome. You found your sword. It must be yours because it has your name engraved on it. <laughs> you can swing it with B to attack any enemies in your path. Yeah. Ah, you jerk. You got me. I'm dead. I'm dead. Ha! A few. Your Honor, let the record show it had my name on it. It's true. Hey, hey, how's it going, Divide? Welcome, welcome. You just in time for some sweet... Sweet Link's Awakening Remastered. Yep, the Switch version. Now, I may go back and play the classic version at some point. I was actually saying when I first started that this version is way easier inherently because there are more buttons. So instead of having to assign like your sword and your shield and things to different to, to either A or B like R is just always your shield so you always have a shield B is always your sword so you always have a sword um, so it does make it a little easier having more than two things you can use oh it's 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 so cute I mean it's it's such a faithful recreation I was saying honestly one of the biggest things and I didn't think about it until after I'd bought it Father's Day tomorrow um hello Blairy one of the things that I didn't really think about before I played it, but now I'm like, oh my god, this is amazing, is like, this house would have been its own screen in the Game Boy, and then you would go down, and they would have the, the phone, and then you'd go over, but like, they made it all once, one thing, for the remake, which is so nice. <clears throat> <clears throat> Ha 
P.S. I didn't get to send a text, but tell your boss happy birthday. I know Cal Rea wished her a happy birthday. I'm just a terrible friend. So. Ba -da -da -da. Obviously, you put it up to your ear. Yeah, this is such. This is so cute. I, I just, I freaking love this. I, I really liked Link's Awakening as a kid, and this is probably like, I, in my opinion, the the happiest feels I've ever gotten from a Nintendo remake <laughs> of any game ever. It's so, it's so perfect. But what I was going to say is I I might be able to play the original at some point because I saw an article yesterday online where apparently like three different game news outlets have all independently heard that Nintendo is going to be adding Game Boy games to the, um, to the Switch online service soon. So if they do that and they add the classic Link's Awakening, I'll totally play that um, just to like do a compare and contrast. Um, yes, yes. I actually saw some fan art where they had, where they, had, somebody had done Ness in this style and it was super freaking cute. Um, like it fits perfectly for that game. But, um, I was telling Cal Rea it would make sense for them to do that soon because they've got Metroid Dread coming out next month. And Metroid Fusion came out like 15 years ago. And you can't get it on any systems anymore, I don't think. So it would make sense for them to release all the old, the older handhelds just so that we could get caught up on Metroid before Dread, you know? Yeah, it's Link. This is Legend of Zelda. It's Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Ho, oh, brave lad, on your quest to wake the dreamer. Welcome to the mysterious forest. Much of mystery you will find on this uncharted Koholint island. I'm afraid you may find it a trifle difficult to leave the island while the windfish naps. By the by, have you ever visited the Tail Cave, which is south of the village? Go there with the key you find in this forest. The windfish is watching. Hoot! Did I know? I did know. I played this game on the original Game Boy as a kid. I know all about this game. It's Ganon! Ah. I believe you told me about that. I, I, I definitely knew that, Blair. As a raccoon, my nose is very sensitive to stuff like dust and powder. <laughs> You're going to be lost thanks to me. <laughs> oh, he warped me. Let's heal your wounds and get rid of all that stress. Close your eyes and relax. Which, which uh, Zelda map was it, Blary? Do you know? I don't think it was this one. I don't think it was Koholint. Okay. <laughs> the first one? Oh, okay. Get out of here. All right, we got a hole. Hmm. I do more or less know where I'm supposed to be going. I'm just trying to explore a little bit and have fun because I love this game and it's not a speed run. So that's one ugly pig. You know, if I had a dollar for every time I've heard that on a date, <laughs> about me, not about the person I'm with.
I'm kidding. I don't say it out loud. Hey, old lady. What you got going on? Double, double, toil and trouble. A toadstool mix makes powder for tricks. Okay, well, I'll be back. She, she's listening. I just walked right into it. Oh, God. Get it. Got him. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, there we go. He's immune. Hey, buddy. Gotcha. Yes, now I can play video games. A guardian acorn. It will reduce the damage you take by half. Schwa. Oh, God, I wasn't ready. What are you doing, buddy? Ha ha! As you hold it over your head, a mellow aroma flows into your nostrils. Okay. Back the way we came. Um, haha. -ha. Uh oh, you got a piece of power. You can feel the energy flowing through you. Honestly, I just like the fact that it makes you move faster. That's that's better than the damage boost. <laughs> Hey, buddy. Bye, buddy. <clears throat> gotcha. Do, 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 do. So how's everybody doing this morning? How is everybody? Ah, it has the sleepy toadstool it does. We'll mix it up something in a jiffy, we will. It's all ready, it is. Take care, as there's not much there. Why not try a bit in my hut? Doing all right. I'm not going to be able to do a stream tonight, unfortunately, because I'm going, once I finish this up, we're going to do a couple of things around the house, and then we're going to Cal Reyes' parents um, for the evening. We'll be coming back tomorrow. So, sausage, egg, and cheese croissant. Nice. I had a regular bagel, and I got some coffee. You got magic powder. Open the subscreen with plus and set it to either X or Y. Good job! Use it on your enemies and see what happens. If you run out, go to the forest, pick some toadstools, and I will make you more. Come back without a toadstool and you may have to pay a price for my leftovers. The Jimmy Dean Frozen kind, but still not. Yeah, the, honestly, the Jimmy Dean Frozen kind are pretty nom. And...
Now to throw some dirt in that raccoon's eye. To to quote the uh, to quote the Toby Maguire meme, right? Bully Maguire. I'm gonna put some dirt in your eye. <laughs> I really hope he says that in the uh, the Spider-Man Spider-Man No Way Home movie when it comes out. I would really love that if they had Tobey Maguire because I think we we've all pretty much decided that we know that the the other two Spider-Mans are coming back, and he really needs to have a line where he's just like, "I'm gonna put some dirt in your eye," and then, and then gets the shit slapped out of him by Green Goblin or something. <laughs> that would be pretty funny. You had pizza. Pizza's tasty. What's up, you fat raccoon? Eat dirt. It's actually funny. If you cut down the bushes in different patterns, you can change where he bounces to. It's true. The last thing I can remember was biting into a big juicy toadstool. Then I had the darndest dream. I was a raccoon. Yeah, sounds strange, but it sure was fun. I'm all tuckered out. I think I better set a spell before I head home. We did it. You got the tail key. Now you can open the tail cave gate. They're going to kill the other Spider-Mans off. One of the other Spider-Men is a tiger. I mean, in the Into the Spider-Verse, one of them's a cartoon pig, so... And one's a, one's a robot piloted by an anime girl. Who? Take the key and go to the tail cave. Retrieve the instrument that is hidden there. Go now! The wind fish is waiting. Hoot! I, I am going to predict... If they don't, then I'm going to be really disappointed in Marvel. I'm going to be really shocked if they don't have a post credit scene with Miles Morales um, showing up in the, the Marvel Universe. If he's not in there in some way, then I'll be, I'll be really surprised and disappointed. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Lola, no! We're gonna play a game or two. We're gonna play a trendy game, and we're gonna hope it doesn't screw me. I was watching a lot of YouTube videos when this game first came out of people getting completely, like, for lack of a better word, getting dicked by the by the crane game. And I didn't. There was a couple of times where it got a little janky, but I think that I think that they were putting it on a bit much. Um, I think they might have just been bad at the game. Now that I've said that, I'm sure I'm gonna fail miserably at this. But yeah. trendy game, one play, ten rupees. The buttons move the crane. The rest is just timing. Go over to the buttons to play. Good luck. Okay. So. Oh, yeah. It's got a little bit of a drag to it. I forgot about that. Hang on. I'll do better next time. Challenge again? Yes. Good luck. Oh. See, I had to talk crap. The timing is a little off. Oh God! It's because I'm going through the. It's because I'm going through the capture card. I just got to practice a little bit. That's why I didn't try to come here immediately because I knew I was going to need some extra money for it. There we go. Got him. Yoshi, you're mine. Yoshi, that's what I thought. Yoshi, yeah, you see where stuff kind of phases through the claw a little bit. Does whatever a spider pig can. Can he swing from a web? 
No, he can't be because he's a pig. Uh-oh. Oh no, <laughs> it fell down. Oh. Thank you, Divide. Oh no. Give me that big love for Denaz. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's phasing. Oh. <laughs> it's so dirty. <laughs> that's what people that's what people were having issues with in the crane game. Um is because it it the detection it like jiggles out of the claw while it's moving. Yeah. I could. <laughs> oh. I I knew I'd missed it at that point, so it didn't really matter. <clears throat> You could do an entire stream just playing the claw game. Well, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to I'm going to try probably two more times, three more times. Oh, it was trying, though. It was trying to fall out. <laughs> Hell no. Give me a holler whenever the mood strikes you to play. Gotta be back? All right, well, I'll be here for the next couple of hours at least. Your wallet is bursting. Got a piece of heart. What a rare find. You got a Yoshi doll. You can't ha count how many games you've seen him in now. That that um that wasn't what was what was said in the original game. It was something about how he seems to be in some very popular games lately or something like that. Tell us how the run goes. <laughs> Whoa, you won the Yoshi doll! We've been trying to do that forever. Our mom is really desperate to have one. Oh, it's because I I gotta use the thumbstick and not the D pad. I was like, why can't I walk? This grass. F it. F it. Oh, nice. Get out of here, stupid chicken. Ah. Mamasha. Oh, will you give that Yoshi doll to my baby? Of course. Oh, thank you. You are indeed a generous person. Ah, I will give you this in return. Burr, 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 burr. You traded your Yoshi doll for a ribbon. Maybe you can trade the ribbon for something else. So this was the first game to introduce the trading, the little trading thing, but they did bring it back later for um, Ocarina of Time. We did it. This game actually introduced quite a few things that became staples later on in the series. <clears throat> And the whole the whole trading mini game mini quest is based on a, like I think it's a Japanese folklore about a, a the straw millionaire. It's a guy who starts with a piece of straw and trades his way up to riches. Um, you see the same thing in the office. There was a there was an episode of the office where all the the uh, team members were putting on a, a yard sale in the warehouse, and Dwight started out with like a paperclip or a thumbtack. And he traded his way up to a telescope and then traded the telescope for magic beans from Jim. How I wish I'd receive a visitor carrying a ribbon on their person. I would direct them to the doghouse on my premises. 
My chic baby Chow Chow has been pining for a new accessory. Family friendly. Ruff, ruff, ruff. Makeup, jewels, dresses. I want it all. Oh, that ribbon. I need it. Will you trade for my dog food? Uh, yeah. Lucky, thanks. Well, here's your dog food. You exchanged the ribbon for some dog food. It's full of juicy beef. Yay. <laughs> Oh, I timed it wrong. Damn it. <clears throat> I want to go back this way first, actually. Get out of here, jerk. Hashtag juicy beef. That's what they call me. It's my prison name. <laughs> ah, get out of here, stupid monkey. He's throwing coconuts at me. Oh, God. Well, don't do that. What's that you have? It's canned dog food. For heaven's sake, man, give that to me, please. I'm going to lose it if I can't get that can. Oh, thank you. I'll take that. Nom. <clears throat> Unch munch. That was great. I know it's not a fair trade, but here's some bananas. Yum. <clears throat> you gave him dog food and got bananas in return. Good deal. All right, we did it. That'll save us some time later. Once we once we get over to the next part of the map, we need the bananas to get into a to get into a dungeon. Gotcha. I wonder. I'm wondering if I can buy bombs in the shop. Let's check real quick, cause I do I do want bombs, obviously. Don't do it. Okay. Oh I need a shovel. That's the other thing I really need is a shovel, is to dig up all the special treasures and things. But I know that's like 200, I think. Let's see. Two hundred, yeah. Can't buy bombs yet, unfortunate. Two hundred, okay. Well, I'll have to come back for that later. <clears throat> come on, chicken. I was going to bring him with me, but I realized that would be cruel. Okay. Get out of here. Da, 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 da. You got a small key, it can open a locked door.
Dinaz would say, the Eye of Sauron. The compass has a new feature. It will t a tone will sound if a key is nearby. I was just suddenly reminded of the fact that you can build custom dungeons in this game, which I think is amazing. That would actually be really fun. If I if I had a more I don't want to say if I if I had a if I had a group that was a little more um, switch heavy, like switch player heavy, I would like to do something where I actually ran other people's dungeons cuz you can you can share these like you can custom build dungeons in this game using pieces from the dungeons you've cleared. Um, and I would love to do an episode of this in the future where I just run other people's custom dungeons just to see if I can beat them or not. That'd be a lot of fun. <laughs> you got a small key. Money? Money. You got 20 rupees. Joy! Blurry, I think you just butt dialed. There's a problem. Oh, well, don't do that. That's weird. Hang on. Now I gotta figure out how to delete messages. Um, hang on. Because that's strange. Sorry, guys. I guess I just really need to figure out how to do this stuff. There. Don't be weird. Please. Because <laughs> then I have to stop and read the whole thing to make sure you're not putting something inappropriate in the middle of it. <laughs> I might have to learn how to delete individual messages or something. I know it's possible. I'm just I'm just bad. I just suck. Um Can I do it? Can I skeesh him? Nope. I failed. <laughs> oh god, no! I was a fool! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Those quarters are slippery! Mr. Goomba. Ha ha. A Goompa. the rock's feather it feels like your body is a lot lighter do i have to actually equip it oh whoop oh i couldn't make it this is actually the first top down zelda game where you could jump which is cool it was another 14 years before mega man could crouch but link could jump in 1993 <laughs> Wee. 
Life is so much easier when you got ups. That's not a UPS thing. That's like ups, like you jump. Don't don't steal my don't steal my quote UPS. Shit. There's a key here, you think? You got the nightmare key. Now you can open the door to the nightmare's lair. Jump, 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 jump. Rawr. Got him. Uh oh. I'm missing a key. Oh, wait, no, I'm not. I have another key. Hang on. I'm doom. Oh, I set myself up. Uh oh. No words, only war. Where are you going, buddy? Oh, oh god! Oh, oh god! Ah! He took more hits than I thought he would. I dropped my I dropped my guard. <laughs> hey. Come here. There we go. You gotta hit him to get him to heal you, I guess. I didn't jump. Why you no jump? You gotta make them all match. Oh, well, this is useless. Hey! Okay. So, obviously, that's the boss door, but I kind of want to know. Oh, never mind. This is just where you go if you fall. I should probably save. I just realized I haven't saved yet. There you go. Got hit. Two hits. Cool. Buzz, buzz, outsider, Moldarm, and I've got half health because I had to stop what I was doing in the middle of walking. Don't do this, breath, breath. Oh, I killed him. <laughs> I don't know why it only took two hits, but it only took two hits, so. Big love. The full moon cello, Amber Giotto? What? Swamp. A path opens in the blues. Um, the owl controls time and space, apparently. Hoot! That is an instrument of the sirens. I have to admit, at first, I did not believe you were real. That instrument, along with the seven others in the set, 
has the power to wake the windfish. You must collect them all. I was instructed to give you directions. Your next goal is north in Gopanga Swamp. Hoot, indeed. For science. For science. I feel the power. Wee. <laughs> so now we can actually get another piece of heart. Uh oh, kids are freaking out. Hey, buddy, it's serious. Yeah, really serious. Yeah, it is. The Moblins came to the village. Yeah, that's right. A whole gang of Moblins. Then, it's for real. They all went to the house. Yeah, that house. And then they did something at Bow Wow's house. It was a really bad scene with the Moblins. So, I mean, ah! It might be faster to find out for yourself what happened. Diddly, 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 diddly. It's terrible. My Bow Wow was dognapped by m, m moblins Oh, uh, please, somebody help my poor Bow Bow. Bow Wow. Oh, I'm oh, sorry. I didn't, I didn't know you were there, Fox. Dad, Jesus. Jerk. Everybody likes mini games. How about some fishing, little buddy? I'll only charge you 10 rupees. Okay, here's how you do it. Hold A and release it to cast your line out. The longer you hold it, the farther you'll cast. You can tug on your line by moving the left stick. If you want to reel it in in a hurry, keep tapping A real quick. You've got this, little buddy. Just when you thought fishing mini games couldn't get even more aggravating. See that bottle down there? I don't, because the... Whoops, you'll get it next time, buddy. Because in Stardew, other fish don't come along and bite through your line to keep you from catching what you're after. Little bastards. No! Get out of here. I remember this being extremely frustrating last time I, uh, I played. No. No. Okay. Now. You... Whoops, you'll get it. That's a trained fish. He taught that fish to do that. I firmly believe. <laughs> He's in cahoots with that with that big fish right there. Nope. Get out of here. Get out of here. See the thing is, unlike in Breath of Fire's fishing minigame, where you can just catch the fish to get them out of your way. These fish do come back, so you've only got a few seconds once you catch one before they're replaced. So you can't just like, oh, I'll just catch all of them and then it won't be a problem. Nope, wrong. Yeah. Look at him. Did you see he was zeroed in on that bottle? What a jerk. Go, 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 ah! <laughs> What a jerk. I'm going to catch this little baby one and I'm going to smack him against a tree. Come here. Come here, you little jerk. You want to you wanna bite stuff? Bite this hook. Yeah. Now you're dead. Now your food, son. You landed a little fish, just like you. It's small, but has plenty of fight. <laughs> Nine rupees. Is there something else caught in this fish's mouth? Oh, well, okay. You got a piece of heart. Well, so apparently, 
revenge is the answer, y'all. Vengeance is okay. If you pick on the little guy, you get... Look, another one just immediately shows up. Like, hey, what's up, buddies? Go, 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 Hey, Budsy, how's it going? Good morning, good morning. Hold up a fairy bottle. It's good for storing fairies for later. Nope, I'm done. Whew. Hope you're having a great morning. We are playing Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, which is one of my favorite games from my childhood. I love the remake. I think it's amazing. I got it last year, and then I didn't beat it. Apparently, I played it uh, last time I played it was August of 2020. So we're gonna actually beat it this time around. <clears throat> For those of you who do not know, um, Budsy is a streamer who the only thing I've seen them stream so far is Super Mario Brothers 3 speedruns, I guess. They're part of the speedrunning community for that. Um, they were actually training last night for a race with a bunch of other streamers. They were going to basically just, like, see who could beat Super Mario Bros. 3 the fastest without using any warps or glitches. And you can't reset your game. So, pretty interesting. Ah, eh, like ten minutes. Uh-oh. It's a living butthole. Dear God. He's like, well, then I just won't move. <laughs> so, all right. Okay. So I haven't beaten this game since I was a small child. Um... And I didn't be in, you know, I haven't played it in a year, so don't expect me to be speedrunning this or like executing devastating maneuvers. I'm I'm gonna try to win. That's that's pretty much where I'm at. Is I'm I'm I, I have a strong intention to beat this game in two to four sessions. <laughs> okay. It's like a gar chomp. Or a gibble. Sorry. Ah! Get out of here. Hello, streamers. Hello, Blurry. Discord. Uh-oh. What's happening? This isn't good. Ah. Ah, oh, God! Yeah, I remember you were saying you were going to play a lot of... You were going to play a whole lot of the um, the Mario games. You were talking about Paper Mario and all kinds of stuff that I've not played. It's true. Go play go play my go join my Discord. Thank you, Blair. Do it and then you'll see when I and Yelith and Denaz Tello and Aeon Agus and Drew Mink and Panda Hitman and Pern TV all all stream. And if you're a streamer and you want to put your little, I just walked right into it, like a dumb. And you want to put your little stream promo down, you can do it. It's totally okay. Lots of little love makes big love. Oh wait, no, I am going this way. Hang on. <sighs> I think there's a sign that just says danger moblins or something right there. Yeah, I really should have a I should have a shovel by now. I'm missing a lot of secrets. And that's the straw poll to choose the next RPG that I play. And right now Super Mario RPG is winning by five votes, I think. Um, second second place is Crystalis for the original NES, and then third place with zero votes, amazingly enough, is Chrono Trigger. Um Eh? Who's this suspicious looking runt? Okay, boys, let's get rid of him. Come at me. <clears throat> uh oh. Oh god. 
It's the squad. Uh -huh. What you doing, buddy? You must be an assassin sent by Madame Meow Meow to rescue the mutt. You came here to get me, but it is I who will get you. Oh. Ah. I see. It's okay, Blary. All is forgiven. <laughs> and immediately attacks me. You saved Bow Wow! What a fearsome beast! So now I am actually going to cheat a little bit. There's going to be some minor grinding going on. Because I need to get enough money to get a shovel. Because if I keep Bow Wow on me... While I've got while I've got Bow Wow, he'll bark and tell me when there are secret seashells nearby to dig up. Actually, no, I guess I could do that after the first dungeon, right? Yeah, because I need him to get into the next dungeon anyway, so. Hoot! That is a fearsome looking animal you have there. Do not forget, the next instrument is in Gopanga Swamp. So I want to test something. Because I'm supposed to just go one screen to the right and then use Bow Wow to get into the um, to get into the next dungeon. But I wonder if I take him back, will they let me? I think she tells me to like take him for a walk to settle his nerves or something. Where are you going, buddy? Hey, you made it out here. That speaks well of you. Maybe you can help me out with a little job. I'm damp, and my job around this island is to dig up interesting stuff. When you have some time to spare, come see me in my shack over there. This is the custom dungeon builder. And this is something where if, if any of you out there have um, Link's Awakening, you can actually make custom you can make custom dungeons and then share them with people that are fr that you're friends with on the Switch Switch online setup. And like I was saying, I would not mind being able to play some other people's stuff. I don't know if you can get stuff from random people or if they have to be friends. Um, Oh, I can't talk to him while I've got Bow Wow. That's too bad. <clears throat> that would be... I think that'd be a fun thing to do. Alright. We need 67 more rupees, y'all. <laughs> I knew it was going to happen, but it was just so sudden. <laughs> I am the most powerful being on the on the island. For it is I that controls the Bow Wow. Oh wait, isn't there a piece of heart up here? Oh, but you need to get you need to be able to move the rocks. Okay. Whee! Can you eat ghosts, Bow Wow? Bow Wow, eat, eat the ghost. Bow Wow, eat the ghost. Bow Wow, Bow Wow's like f that noise. I need living flesh. There's a there's a trick you have to do here. You have to push these in a certain order, and it'll open up a dungeon where you can get um, either red or blue armor. Which was something that they actually added in Link's Awakening Deluxe, which was for the Game Boy Color. So they've actually remade this game a couple of times. Just every time a new handheld system comes out, they, they re-release it with, with new stuff in it. Get out of here, crow. Ah! You're so strong. Oh, God. 
<laughs> That's the strat. I just did a big circle. <laughs> we did it. Oh god. I wish I could remember the pattern offhand, but I can't. <gasps> Actually, you know what? Would you guys judge me if I looked in my in my screenshots? Because I think I took a screenshot of the instructions for this when I played the game last year. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. Nope. It's a whole lot of Pokemon stuff. That's too bad. I thought I may have I thought I may have had the picture, but unfortunate. Get out of here. Get out of here. Wait, wait. What's over here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's some pretty cute zombies. I'm not going to lie. But they must die again. They must be killed once more. Wee. Okay. Well, let's just head into the dungeon. He did it. Oh. 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 I didn't think I was going to make that jump. Wait, no. Wrong way. You'd think it'd be easier to find my way around since the stuff's not blocked off by screen shifts anymore, but no. I'm still bad. <laughs> Surprise. Yeah, normally... Yeah, see, he's telling me to dig right there. Normally, I would, um, I would have spent a bunch of time earning money off off screen or like like between dungeons to try to get that shovel as quickly as possible. But I didn't. Now I'm paying the price. Get him, bow wow, kill. <laughs> Got him. Okay. Can I climb this now? Oh. I can for whatever it's worth. Both legs shatter when I hit the ground. Bink. Okay. Into the second dungeon we go. So Bow Wow can eat all these little flowers. And the big flowers. I'm pretty sure he can eat the big flowers. Yeah, there he goes. So you actually need him to get this treasure chest. You can't get this treasure chest unless you do it right now. I guess. What's this? Money? <gasps> Do I have enough? Oh, it's so close. Okay. Eat them. Eat them. Alright, so we're definitely getting the shovel when we leave here. And then we'll take Bow Wow for a lap. The Bottle Grotto. Oof. It looks heavier than heavy. Your current strength won't cut it. These are special bottles that you can't break with your sword either. Poof. The flame effect looks very pretty in this game too, let me just say. No. Noise. Little, 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 little. 
Got it. Let's go down here. I feel like this is a wasted key. Yep. Yeah, where are you gonna go now, brother? Aw. Aw, disappoint. Okay. I gotta use a bottle to kill him. That stinks. Oh, I, I broke that little sparkly boy. I wonder, can you turn these into fairies with magic dust? Nope, doesn't do a damn thing. Hmm. Sure, why not? I don't know why I do that all the time. I just walk off. Like I think I can I think I can jump later than I can. See if Mario would just carry a shield with him, then all those all those Lakitus would 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 present a much lesser threat. Throwing the little spiky boys. Staircase? Maybe? Yes. Okay. I was gonna say I think it's a staircase that pops up. <gasps> I don't know why I really like these little side-scrolling bits. They're they're just cute. I mean, it's a it's a it's a throwback to the original Zelda, right? Where he's where he goes into the little rooms with the treasures. Whee! I guess the flames were not necessary. Uh oh. <clears throat> what are you doing? Get away from me. No! Oh! Oh, my spine! Oh, God! <laughs> that was not a pretty fight, but I won it. Got the map. At last, you got a map. Go, uh, go, 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 go. I'm going to wait to pick up that magic powder because I think I might need it for here. I don't want to run out. Uh, yeah, stupid boost. Get out of here. Found the power bracelet. At last, you can pick up pots and stones. Noise. This isn't even my final form. Whee! Well, that was dumb of me. I was looking at it, and I'm like, this is not right. Okay, okay, I did it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. We're good. Everybody chill, chill. Just relax. I 
I just wish I walked a little bit faster in this game. That's my main complaint. I just, I just want to walk a little faster. Please. Plox, let me walk. Link is watching me? Oh, oh, Link, Link. Hi, Link! She means she means Link our cat, not not Legend of Zelda Link. Got it. <clears throat> okay. I didn't know what button to push there. I was having a hard time. Well, it's not a thwomp. We'll call it a thwamp. It's a thwamp. Oh no, I don't have the key. All of this was for naught. For sure that oh yeah I was gonna say I thought for sure there was a fairy under one of these pots. Actually, you're supposed to kill these enemies in a certain order. I don't think this is the order. So we've tr we tried skeleton, bat, bunny. That's not correct. I'm pretty sure it's bunny, skeleton, bat. Because that's the most inconvenient way. Bunny. Skeleton, bat. Nope. So maybe bunny, bat, skeleton? Bunny, bat, skeleton. There we go. Okay. It's going to be five rupees. Watch. <laughs> oh, no. It's the boss key. Okay. Then I, I definitely needed to solve that. Okay. I'm not upset anymore. <laughs> Is this gonna spit me out at? <clears throat> oh, okay. <coughs> well, I guess I'll go kill the boss. Um, I don't. Whatever, whatever else was in that other door, I don't guess I need. Um, it'll either be money or something like that. It won't be anything that I need to beat the level. So. Got him. You caught a fairy in a bottle. Set it free anytime you want to get healed. Me, Sir Bun. Okay. Here we go. Oh, almost got my head pinched. <clears throat> jump! Kick! Jump! It's all in the mind! <laughs> it 
It's Calrea's favorite boss. Ho, ho, ho! I'm your bad guy this time. Ho, ho, ho! It's a genie. Ah! I can't move, but I'm still alright. Your little sword won't break this bottle. Even the walls here look tougher than that dinky thing. Nyah, nyah, you can't hurt me as long as I have my bottle. This is a little bit of a Ganon uh, Link to the Past attack strat. It's just as dirty, too. Okay. Oh. Well, he was mad at me about something, but... The boss fights are much more merciful in this game than in uh, uh, Link to the Past, I think. You can pretty much just tank a lot of these guys. Yeah. Hey, hey, welcome back, Divide. We just we just beat the second uh, dungeon. Go us. I was just talking about how Link can face tank most of the enemies in this game if you don't know how to actually be a good gamer. The Concorn. I think it's the Concorn. Yep. <clears throat> what? You should hook up the Switch today. You should you should beat this game and make me some custom dungeons to play in. Prairie, prairie, the prairie is waiting. <clears throat> wow, that's a magic fish right there. This fish has, has more strength than I could ever hope to possess. Get out of here. <laughs> I would say send that via text. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Get out of here, stupid moblin. Hey, kid, you woke me up from a fine nap. <clears throat> Thanks a lot, but now I'll get my revenge. Are you ready? I'll let you carry more magic powder. <laughs> Are you ready? Yes. <laughs> you deserve it. Now look at all that junk you have to carry. Ha! Take care. See you again. Man, he sure showed me, right? <laughs> I love that. Because I could totally see that being a thing. Like some really obtuse person being like, now this will really aggravate you. And <laughs> give you, make you be able to carry twice as much stuff. Now look at all this money you have to spend. <laughs> I got lost without the raccoon, so. No, I don't have one of your friends trapped in a bottle. What are you talking about? 
I've just done a big old circle. Man, my eye is itchy. I don't know what I did to my eye, but my eye has been itching for like a week now. There's no, there's nothing on it. It's just itchy. I have eye cancer. I'll never play FPS games again. Because I won't have depth perception. He's going to be like, you can't bring that dog in here. <laughs> Deluxe shovel, 200 rupees. <laughs> Thanks a lot, and come again. You can feel the joy of digging. Oh, now you can feel the joy of digging. All you have to do is set it to X or Y. So a shovel costs two hundred dollars, but ten explosives costs a dollar each. America. <laughs> okay. Well, we got our bombs. We got our shovel. Now he's gonna he's gonna put the um, he's gonna put the uh, bow and arrow in. I think I think the bow and arrow pops up now for like nine hundred. Yeah, 980 rupees. Oh, Lord. Okay. So we're going to take Bow Wow for a little walk. And we're going to look for diggables. Damp. What you doing here, buddy? Good seeing you. Got your other stuff squared away for right now? In that case, let's step into my shack. Oh, God, my face. How will I make money? Oh. They're not a dig spot here. Well, I guess if Bow Wow's not telling me to dig, then there's nothing there, right? So there was a thingy over here. I don't think we can do anything with it yet, but... Okay, yeah, there's an invisible guy there, but we need the um, we need the magnifying lens to be able to see him. F that monkey. <clears throat> you got 50 rupees. Very nice. Very nice. I was gonna say I know there's something over here, so he's he's screwing with me if he doesn't bark here. <clears throat> okay. The reason for the secret seashells will soon be revealed. It's a secret for now. Oh. <laughs> that monkey is done, so. <clears throat> oh, 
Uh, I know there was a um, there was a bombable wall in here. I want to check real quick. <clears throat> I can't remember if it was this way. I don't think it was. This is a dead end. <coughs> I think it's like up and to the left. Yeah, up, yeah, left and up. Okay. Oh, and there's a chest I missed to the right as well. The one way, the one way door thing. I never went back there. Oh, it's a secret seashell. Hell yeah. I was thinking it was going to be money. Now I'm really glad I came back here. Oh god, why did I jump so soon? Oh. <laughs> Don't get him started, Calrea. His blood pressure is going to spike. Money? Oh, map. All right. Yeah. So that was the, those were the last two rooms that we hadn't searched. So out we go. Get out of here. All right, and then on to the woods. Reading is fundamental, but it don't mean I gotta like it. <laughs> VA, I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say the agency. I almost said it. I almost said the agency. Insert agency name, 2021. <laughs> no, no, you're fine, Divide. You're fine. I just, don't, I just don't want you to walk around with a migraine for the rest of the day because we got you thinking about it. <laughs> Whoa. From downtown. Get him, Bow Wow. Fuck him up. Good job. Good boy. Oh, I, I face checked. Yep, it's an enemy. Oh, God. I dig there. Is it because Bow Wow's in the way? Hmm. Seems sus. He called it that before, Calrea. Did you not catch that? Yeah, he's called it that a couple of times now. off. Damn it, Bow Wow. Get out of my way. <laughs> I 
I think she's saying too soon, as in like she thought you were making a joke about the uh, the the thing that happened 20 years ago on September 11th. <laughs> Not when you scheduled it. I'll just take this just to have it. Is that honestly not the joke that you were making? <laughs> I thought that was the joke you were making already. You're saying the blowout as in like blowing a blowing a candle out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I I think I and I and Cal Ray have both assumed that it was a a blowout like a like a boom joke. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, okay. Bow Wow says, I got him. Nom, nom, nom. Me and Bow Wow are going on an adventure. Madam Meow Meow's never seeing her dog again. He and I are tight like white and rice now. Oh wait, no, we gotta go back here. Come on, Bow Wow. And jump! Attack! He's like, let me at him. I'll kill him. <laughs> Music. The fish stirs in the egg. You are there. I, hey man. I wasn't making a joke about it. I just assumed that was where you were going with it. Trust me, I don't think it's funny. You gotta, you gotta remember. You're also the one that told me that that there w about the uh, the thoughts and prayers smartphone game where you never win. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like I said. Nom nom nom. Oh. Oh. I died. Oh. Yep, that's a moblin, alright. I checked it with my face. It's it's a moblin. The little spear just falls to the ground and rolls away. You would think so, but reasons. Hi there, big guy. I'm Crazy Tracy. I've got a little secret for sale that'll pump you up. Will you give me 28 rupees for my secret? No. So, Tracy, I believe this is supposed to be Tracy from the from Donkey Kong. I think was or no, that was Pauline. Never mind. Pauline was was Mario's first girlfriend. That's cool. Oh, there's some strange energy coming from here. You should take a closer look. Wow, wow, you tell me dig, I dig.
Oh, so many secret seashells. Love it. That's the wind fish up there. We don't care about that. And this is not this is not an attack against Yelith or Budsy, but I just had a thought that all the speedrunners watching this are like, oh my god, dude, please, for the love of Jesus. <laughs> Go. <laughs> you could you could check this spot later. It doesn't matter because there's only 17 seashells available right now, and you need 20 to get the master sword. <laughs> I was like, no, I want to dig. <laughs> Wee. <laughs> this is what we call Nilla plays, y'all. Nilla plays. I, I got down. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. Oh God. Oh God. I don't know, man. I think that the holes, the holes are trickier. Like you fall in the holes a lot more in this game. Oh, sniped! Get out of here! Jerk. Quit that crap! Uh -uh. User error. Well, the edges of the holes are, like, slippery. Like, they, they kind of pull you in. <clears throat> like, the, the bit that I jumped uh, just a second ago where you saw me, like, jump over that giant hole and, um, and get the money in that treasure chest, I wasn't even supposed to be able to jump that. Like, but you can just kind of, if you time it just right, you do, like, a frame-perfect jump, you can kind of, like, jump onto the edge. And as you start to slide down, you can run back up. I can't remember if there's like a free bow and arrow set in this game. 980 rupees seems pretty expensive. Maybe I'm dumb. Okay. So we got this is here. This is here. No, get out of here. No, 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 no. Don't hit me, don't hit me. Oh, oh God. Huh. Huh. I know in my heart that this is not a secret, but I have to check. Nope, okay. Because there was that other, there was that other heart container that I could see through the wall. I just had to check. Good job, Bow Wow. All right, let's check out the strange energy. <clears throat> Yay. So that's a quick travel. There's a quick travel system. Um, You might be able to. I got it. You've, you can get other stuff in there. There's a lot of stuff you can get in the crane game. And as you, as you uh, win stuff, the game puts new things in there. I feel like that would be pretty crazy, though, to have that, like, you can pay literally almost the maximum amount of money you can carry, or you can just pay 10 gold and catch it in the crane game. Um, seems a little crazy. Oh, this is a terrible place to be. Oh. oh. Yay. Can I, can I like save warp? Hang on a second. I want to see if I can warp back to the entrance. No, it's just going to put me in right where I started. I feel attacked. <clears throat> oh, 
get him, Bow Wow. Good boy. Bless you. Ah, God, he's on me. <laughs> get out of here. Bow Wow does not like moblins, can we just say. He is way more aggressive towards moblins than most other enemies. No, because they kidnapped him. Oh God, oh Jesus, oh God, oh. get out of here. Piece of heart? Nope, secret seashell. So we're about to get to a spot where there's a mansion that if you if you turn in the secret seashells, every every five seashells that you turn in, I think it is, it's either every five or every ten, you get a special reward. And if you get, I think, thirty, um, you you get the master sword and you can shoot beams um, when your when your health is full. You can also win um, decorations for people's houses in the crane game. There's little pedestals that, like, I think she's she's got one right here. Yeah, see, there's a little pedestal here, and then there's one on the table that you can you can win decorations in the crane game, and then bring them to the correct people, and I think you get different rewards. I really appreciate what you did for my poor precious Bow Wow. You are such a nice boy. How can I ever repay you? I know. Mwah. Smooch? You got a reward from Madam Meow Meow. L -l lucky <laughs> He's blushing. <clears throat> hey, buddy. Woof, woof. Oh, you like bananas? I was hungry something fierce, so I went and got bananas at the beach. Link, if you want some, you should go and get some. Wait, I'll go for walkies. Let's see what they got. I don't think there's going to be it. Maybe there will be. No. There's a, there's a chow chow doll and a secret seashell. <clears throat> Trendy game. One play, ten rupees. Oh. Almost perfect. Now watch it pop out of the back. How did I know? How did I know? And he giggles at you, the little bastard. <laughs> you want to try again? <laughs> <laughs> Jerk. This game is rigged. <laughs> That's the worst part is when he giggles at you, like, because he knows that the game is rigged. Hehe. <laughs> <laughs> Nope. Gather my prizes, my ill begotten winnings. <clears throat> Can I get the shield? Um, I have this, I have a shield. Are you, or is this like a challenge? Like, hey, are you capable of getting the shield? I have gotten things on the moving platforms before. It's not easy. I'll try. 
I got a little bit of money. I got, I'm just getting the timing down for it. You can see it moving on the platform when it stops, too. Okay. Yes. I was about to get mad. <laughs> In all honesty, I was like, okay, close now, close now, close now. <laughs> They give you a they give you a free shield, but I think there's a monster that can steal your shield from you. It might be good a good idea to write your name on it later. Yeah, when you first when you first start Yeah, I did it. When you first start the game, um, if you talk to if you talk to Taryn, the, the Mario looking guy, he's like, Hey Link, you finally woke up and what? And then he's like, What? How did I know your name? Well, I saw it written on the back of this shield. And then he gives you your shield for free. Otherwise, you just have to, like, wander around like, like a dope. So. Oh. So now, is that a... That's a big heart. And that's a dungeon piece up there. The the top left one, that's a, that's a dungeon stone. <clears throat> One play, ten rupees. I might have gone just a second too soon. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I thought it was going to roll onto the conveyor belt. I was so hyped. <laughs> I was so excited. I thought for sure it was going to just like tumble onto the conveyor belt. Oh, lordy. No. You got a chamber stone. Why does it feel so strange? <laughs> anyway. They really need just a very slight magnet effect on Link to, to pull rupees towards you. Rupees. The power coursing through my body. Well, I don't think that's what it is. I just thought of that, that bit in The Simpsons where they're like, everybody watch carefully. He's about to do something stupid. <laughs> As I'm like, hmm. <clears throat> watch carefully, everyone. He's about to do something stupid. I was about to do something stupid again. Ah! Hang on. There we go. I, if I'd have done that, I could have gotten them both the first time. Noise. 
<clears throat> there we go. So now you'll bounce, you can bounce between different areas. This is actually, this is actually pretty cool because we've already seen a good chunk of the world map. Like, the entire game is, you know, 10 to 15 hours long if you're just fooling around. And we've already seen half the world and they pack so much stuff into it. I mean, obviously, like, some of this is because we just, it just unlocks one segment at a time. We haven't been to all these screens. But in the, in the Game Boy version, you would literally just step into these and it would cycle you from place to place. So it's really nice that you get to choose where you go now. It saves a lot of time. <clears throat> so where are we going now? This way? Nope. Maybe? Wait. Oh, yeah. I think there might be a secret seashell over this way. Wah, wah, wah. Huh, huh, huh. Give me that treasure. Oh, I could have just gone around this way. Interesting. Okay, I lied. That does nothing. No human person could fit through that gap. Salutations! You wouldn't know by the look of me, but I used to live in the castle. My servants went berserk, and I was forced to flee to my villa. So you're looking for something, are you? I may have just what you're after. But first, I want you to retrieve the golden leaves I left behind in the castle when I fled. Smashing. To tell you the truth, there are five leaves, and I want them all. Okay, you'll need to do some digging, so buy a shovel. Are you off then? Good luck. Will you find me this one thing? Yeah, sure. Okay, well, actually, there's five. And also, you're going to have to spend a lot of money to be able to do me this favor. So, least he could do would be to give you some money or something, right? Be like, oh, well, here, this should help. This should help defray the costs. But, no. He's a one percenter. He doesn't understand the financial burden he's placed upon me. Wait, why can't I? Oh, here we go. <clears throat> We got it. Can I just say I love the um I I want I would I love this version of the classic like Legend of Zelda song where it's done with all the different instruments that you're trying to collect. Dora the Explorer sounds. No, I cannot. <laughs> Unfortunately, Twitch won't allow that. It's the darndest thing. <laughs> Divide's like, well, damn. <laughs> hmm. Womp. 
They do. I was I was being funny. Well, no, it, it was more just I don't want I don't want people spamming Dora the Explorer stuff in my in my stream while I'll try to play Legend of Zelda. <laughs> It was me being a butt. <laughs> oh look, a monkey. Monkeys like bananas. Bananas. Monkeys, come repay him, Kiki. Monkey business done. Bye bye. <laughs> da, 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 da. You found a stick a monkey left behind. You take it. But what do you do with it? How many do I have? Twelve? Well... I think you could talk to these little trees, too. Well, that was a surprise. Hey, I'll tell you a secret. Use your sword to poke at dungeon walls. If you hear a hollow clank, you can break the wall with a bomb. Cool. I am the spirit of the mansion. I have been waiting for someone, one who can overcome the darkness. Find the secret shells, then ascend the platform. You will receive the ultimate sword. Sounds like you should come back with lots of shells and try standing on the platform. <clears throat> Ching. I would like to do some Legend of Zelda sounds. I try to do different little things when I um when I'm playing games that like, you know, people people know like popular franchises. So like you haven't actually gotten to see it today, but I changed all of the um the little notices for like follows and bits and things to to Link's Awakening, little Link's Awakening characters. I would like to do something with some sounds for that, you know, as well cuz I've just got my standard little sound effects attached to them. But I probably could have found something if I'd have started setting everything up sooner. But I, I think it was like 8.40 when I started actually messing with Twitch Studios this morning. Jump, jump. I think eventually you get an item from the palace that that alerts you when you're it's like a little tuning fork that alerts you when you're near um when you're near seashells <clears throat> combo breaker <gasps> oh <laughs> didn't think i was gonna make that jump That was actually not as hard as I thought it was going to be. That's what she's... No, never mind. Ah! There's 
This is just aggravating because there's two of them. <laughs> Do I dig? So there should be a total of five leaves scattered around inside and outside the castle. That's the full lap. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So now we're heading into the castle. Is there one under here? Hmm. Nope. I see the Prince Prince Richard in this game with his little with his little rapier or his S stock or whatever you want to call it, and I immediately think of Prince Ricard from. Um, He's like a recurring character in Dark Souls that you can kill for his weapon. <clears throat> Uh-oh. Oh, it's your booty now. Here we go. Blink. I just realized the little banners on the the little royal banners are um it's like a little stylized picture of the mountain with the egg on the on the top of it the windfish egg oh well that's useful huh it sounds like the castle gate opened you can easily leave the castle now You'd think they would, like, thank me for freeing them and not try to kill me, but... <clears throat> Whatever. I'm assuming this one's not going to give me anything. Yeah. Ah. See, this part still has screens. That's going to be our final leaf right there. That's an enemy from uh, Link to the Past. He's guarding, he's in Hyrule Castle at the very beginning. Kind of figured that one was going to hurt me. You know what? There we go. I was like, this might, this could, this could be easier. <laughs> I, I could do this more easily. Go see Richard about that reward. He's going to give me a kiss like Madame Meow Meow. Ho ho, well, you're looking for this, mon ami. No. It's actually a more effective strategy, but it felt good. 
Look at this piece of crap. He's flight. He's flying off the screen. He's like, no, no, just keep dreaming. You can't hit me. Jerk. Ba 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 ba. Ha ha! Ah, Dre Bien, I see you have recovered all of the leaves. Now move this statue and you will find your reward. Backs up. Great reward. That's not the reward. That's just something extra. Alrighty. Ah, I knew it. So this is a maze. There are holes. And it's actually possible to, to skip a huge chunk of this. I, I think at one point I had the I had it pretty much memorized as a kid. And there was a way that you could like at certain points jump and then chop diagonally. I am winning. You missed it. I just left the Frenchman's house, Denaz. You could have translated for us. So far, we've got 13 secret seashells, we've completed two dungeons, and we have seven and one quarter big loves. So I think we're doing pretty good. Not speed running it, obviously, taking my time, but. Um, right now we have the stick. You have to you have to do up through the stick so that you can get the um, so that you can get the uh, the bridge built for Richard's castle. This is possible. This is possible. This can be done. Hang on. I've jumped further than this. Oh my god. <laughs> no. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I guess that grass just made it too slippery, y'all. Now I gotta get back across. <laughs> oh. Yeah, jumping back is no is no problem, but for some reason that no normal human could have ever made that jump. Got it. Wee. Yeah, we spent a little uh, we spent a little bit of time doing the uh, the crane game. Had fun with the crane game. Cleared some stuff, took Bow Wow for a long walk. Fed him a whole lot of moblins. How are you today, Denaz, by the way? Yes, I love this remake though. This remake is I was saying this was one of my favorite games as a kid on the original Game Boy. I actually heard some rumors on a couple of different game news sites that, that Switch might be adding Game Boy and Game Boy Color games soon to their online category. Um, and if they do, I really hope they put the original Link's Awakening on there because I would love to go back and play it. I'm doing good. Once we finish this up, we're going to Calrea's parents' house for, for tonight and the first part of tomorrow. So I'm not going to be streaming tonight, but um, this has been a nice little session. I don't know if I'm going to ever go back to Destroy All Humans. This is, I, I was like, I don't really want to play it last week. And now this week, I was like, I don't really want to play it. Like, I'm glad I played this, though.
<clears throat> but yeah, this is actually um, free show and tell. Let me get the get my hands nice and clean. I only have a couple of amiibos, but the first amiibo I ever bought was actually the Link's Awakening amiibo because it's just so freaking cute. And it looks like the game because the game, he kind of looks like a toy. <laughs> so I bought, I bought this. It's, it's not been opened, obviously. It's, you know, in as good a condition as you can get. I got this one at the store, so it didn't go through the mail or anything. Um, I've never even, like, jammed it up against my Switch to scan it or anything. It's, it is completely pristine, so I like it. Show and tell? Okay, I'll show my other two. I also have, I just bought this one recently, an original NES. Hell yeah. I got that when I started my Earthbound stream. I got that for myself. And I was thinking if people redeem a show and tell, I'll show it. And they didn't. And then I have a Piranha Plant. Because I don't know. For some reason, I really like Piranha Plant in Smash Bros. So, yeah. Those are And those are all my Amiibos. There's a foil on the underside. Oh, well, good to know, Aeon. Thank you. And welcome, by the way. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Yeah, so those are th that's my whole Amiibo collection. Aeon, Aeon's collection puts me to shame, unfortunately. But I think the next one I'm going to buy... <laughs> that's okay. Oh. Well, thank you so much for that, Denaz. I appreciate it. <laughs> Now Aeon can spam phenomenal babies with the best of us. Um, <laughs> I appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Um, I think my next Amiibo, it's going to be kind of pricey, is going to be an original Kirby. Um, it'll either be an original Kirby or it'll be a Waddle Dee, which Waddle Dees are like 12 bucks on eBay, but for some reason they're cute. My only thing is I would prefer a Waddle Doo. And that's the only reason I haven't bought it is because I don't... The Waddle Dee is kind of like the poor cousin of the Waddle Dee. <laughs> Yay! Get babied. I do it. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. I know what I gotta do. Oh, the item didn't despawn. Nice. But thank you for the quiet lurk, Aeon. Ooh. Waddle Dee have Parasol, but Waddle Dee have Eye Beam. Has, has Eyeball Laser. And I kind of feel sorry for the Waddle Dew because, you know, you, you get the feeling life's not easy for him. He's literally an eyeball with feet, just walking through life, seeing everything, unable to, unable to remark upon it because he has no mouth. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Help. Help me. Help me. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I don't, want to, I don't want to play this game anymore. <laughs> Ow. Oh, God. It was moving very quick, Calran. <laughs> it was moving very fast. <clears throat> An assassin slime. Oh, okay. Yeah, this remake is very pretty though. It makes me it makes me quite happy. I'm hoping I'm hoping that the rumor about about like Game Boy games coming to the Switch online console is tr is true. It would kind of make sense. I was telling Calrea, it would make sense from the standpoint of um, Metroid Dread is coming out in a little over a month. And all of the, you know, the last games were handheld games like Metroid 2 and um, Metroid Fusion were both handheld games that you really can't get anymore. I don't know if you can get them on the Wii U or not because I didn't own a Wii U, but it would make sense for them to release those games um, on the Switch console so that people could catch up with the storylines, right? Like, I mean, it seems like it would make sense to me. 
I was really thinking that conveyor belt was going to keep moving while it was paused. Aww. Bastard. Huh? Huh? I disagree. Hmm. Go in the hole. I don't even get a reward? Oh, it's because there's a slime. I was about to get very upset. No! Oh. <laughs> Calrea, jump over it, she says. are waiting for me and you should be streaming later on well i wish you luck denaz i probably won't be able to catch you but i want you to know that i'm my spirit is with you where we're going they don't really have internet um calrea's parents they live out in the out in the sticks their their internet speed is legit like two megabytes per second um it's it's really bad so I wish I could I wish I could catch it though cuz I haven't gotten to see you stream in a while. I don't know if you've been streaming and I just didn't get the notices or if you've been taking the week off. But I was actually talking to Kyrea yesterday about I hadn't seen you stream in like a week. <clears throat> You were playing MTG yesterday. I got you. We gotta play more Stardew soon. Uh -huh. Kaurea refuses to play it with me. I, I think she just doesn't want to have a house with me. I, I pretty much begged her yesterday to play it with me when we got off work and she was like, eh. I'd rather do my nails. Okay. She did me dirty. Anyway, thank you again for the gift sub, Denaz. Thanks for jumping in to say hi. I hope you have a great weekend. Um, Monday is a holiday for me, so hopefully I get to not go into the office and I can catch some of you guys streaming. Is this a... Yeah, I thought so. That poor guy was just minding his own business. And then I came along. Shambly. Okay. Absolutely. Got a guardian acorn. Uh oh. Oh. Well, that's no good. The smile, though. I actually prefer those to the bouncy ones, though, for real. Because the bouncy ones, you can't really do much other than let them hit you if it's just the two of you alone in the room. If I recall correctly, this is a secret. Yo. That's just burned into my memory from 20 years ago. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Oh, so does it like reset the timer every time they bump into you? Seems that way. Okay, here we go. Ow, oh God. Ow. 
That didn't feel good. Oh, okay. Okay. Just checking. I thought the door was about to slam shut on me again. I was going to be so sad. <laughs> no, I got to fight him again. Got that egg. Got that bomb. I don't know why I was thinking eggs there. I mean, I'm hungry. <laughs> I want to try something. Okay, no, they're not. I was thinking, are these maybe one of those enemies that, that dodges away? No way to no way to trick the game or anything. I want to say again, I wish that the movement speed was was faster in this game. And as I'm saying it, I'm kind of thinking, you know, wouldn't it be great if like as a passive thing when you get the Pegasus boots, it increases your movement speed by 50% so you can just walk through the areas faster? And help you with backtracking and that kind of stuff. I would count that as an ease of use thing. I don't know. It would make it would make the later bosses easier, but then you just make their you just make their patterns a little tighter, right? Like make the make the bosses a little faster to counteract the fact that Link is faster, and then it'll balance out. But it'll also make this walking around less horrible. Oh, don't force it, Link. Oh, no. Get, Get out of here. Uh, this is becoming problematic. The, uh, the, the bite mechanic is very, uh, hmm. Well, I guess I'll just catch him on the corners, yeah? You gotta be so perfect with the with where you put those bombs, man. That was getting that was getting pretty scary. I honestly thought I was gonna run out of bombs there. Ooh. Boots! If you hold L, you can dash. Try going for a long jump. Boop. Once again, just being able to put so many different items on Link at one time is such a nice thing. As opposed to just having two buttons on the original Game Boy to, to assign stuff. Oh my god. This is such a huge game. I mean, there's nothing they could have done. There were only two buttons on the Game Boy originally. So it's not like it's not like they didn't made a poor desi design choice or anything. It was just that was what they had available to them. Um, but it's so much nicer now to be able to just have, like, certain things that you want to be able to do all the time, like guard and dash, put on specific buttons. <clears throat> I 
Only thing I might have done differently would be I might have I might have said, you know, make B attack or interact. And then you could have A always be jump because you like you like having the, the feather a lot as well. Oh, well. Ah Okay. Well, that wasn't as pretty as it could have been, but we did it. Did these reset? Nope. Okay. Okay. Wee. Why? Why did I turn? I don't understand. Ugh. Well, that was poopy. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, God. Everything's ruined forever. I should probably put something not limited use on each button when I'm not using Ooh! Oh, I'm glad I came back now! You're overjoyed! I guess this would have to be the map, right? Kind of defeats the purpose, but... Oh no, it's the beak. It's the useless item. Cool. Okay. Oh, we've still got to go back there. That's right. Okay. And then we've got an item top right because we got to do the long jump. Okay. I completely forgot about this door being something we hadn't gotten before. Um, okay, I, <laughs> I have no idea, he's just doing his thing, You got to dash at him. Okay. I feel the power. Okay. I already got that. I already got that. But I need the big key, I think, right? Is it the big key I'm missing? Yeah. I need the big key. Okay. Jump too soon. Wee! I did it. <clears throat> Got that big key. Now I can open the door to the nightmare's lair. Oh, well, that's. It's kind of dirty. <laughs> Get, out Get out of here. Ah, no. Right? Wait. Did these regenerate? Oh. They did. <laughs> Just 
slowly inch towards my sword, damn it. No! Ah, no! I knew it was coming. Thank you, Calray. Oh, they can throw over the walls? I don't like that. <laughs> the face, though. I was like, I just know as soon as I come over this thing, he's gonna come out and attack me. That poor, that thwomp got shreked. Get out of my thwomp! Boom. You're dead. Don't need, don't need the hearts anyway. Nice. Let's see what the boss does. Oh, I think I know what this one is. Okay. Neener, neener, you can't find me. Yeah, yeah. I love the reflection effect on him now, but I hate this enemy. This enemy's pretty bad. It is nice that you can actually, like, hold your charge. Damn it. Oh, wait. Damn it. It is not as easy to steer this as you might think it is. Well, all my progress has been lost. Got him. No! Oh. Okay. I disagree. Jump. And jump. And dash. That's one. Okay. You wanna jump again? Come on at me. Oh no! That was just aggravating that first part. Oh. It's not a difficult boss, it's just they were having a lot of fun when they designed this game because they were trying to see how many different cool things they could do on the Game Boy. You know, having having people come off of making um, A Link to the Past for the Super Nintendo and then trying to make something that measured up to the Link, of the pa Link to the Past's quality on a much weaker system um, was really the whole reason that they started making Link's Awakening. Um, it was never supposed to be a game. It was just them goofing off and working on making something just to kind of learn the limits of the system's capabilities, which is why some of the bosses seem so weird and gimmicky, is because they were really just trying to figure out, can we make this a mechanic that works in the game? Can we, have it, can we have it be something that you use for puzzles, regular enemies, and bosses? Yes? Okay, move on to the next thing. So, but it ends, up being, it ends up being a very solid experience as a result because every single thing you do in the game, you can do it to do a lot of different things, specifically because they were trying to see how many different things they could work into each function, you know? So, <clears throat> heart for Link's Awakening. Waterfall. It is hidden in the waterfall. Hoot! How many instruments have you gotten so far? 
When you play the instruments in front of the egg, the wind fish will wake and you will leave this island. Now you must hasten to the Yarna Desert. The dark, monstrous inhabitants of the sand will show you the way. Hoot hoot! The Yarna Desert. That's going to be this area down and to the right. I believe. Hoot hoot! Hoot hootly hoot hoot! I feel like this is a secret. I'm probably wrong. Something tells me to put a bomb here. It was nothing. Oh, there's one over there, though. Now get away! Okay. I knew I couldn't tie I couldn't get through there before he came around. I don't know why I tried. I knew it. Okay. Monet! I guess they give you so many rupees, it's just you just adventure for a while and you'll 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 get the uh, the bow and arrow right. Just finding all the secrets and things. Haha. -ha. Seems like a bit of a trap, but okay. You got a piece of heart. Eh. Can I just say yet again that I freaking love this game? Almost didn't like it for a second there, though. Thought I was about to get bopped by that sparkle boy. Ow! Oh, God! Oh, Jesus! I made a bad mistake! <laughs> this is a fairy. It is a fairy. Ha ha ha. Thank you, fairy. Alright, Terran. Chapter 2 in the Adventures of Terran. Oh, Link, I see you have a nice stick. Can I borrow it for a second? Yes, you can. <laughs> the stick became the honeycomb. You're not sure how it happened, but take it. <laughs> ah. Oh, that didn't do anything. Ah. Oh God, no. So there's a couple of other little minor secrets that we could find, um, but the main thing we want is up here now. We're going to need this in a second. So, come up here to the dream shrine. Okay. 
And then up here, you get a treasure. 100 rupees. You're happy. We're almost there. 160 to go, and we've got ourselves a bow and arrow. Not bad. <laughs> I love it. It, play, it plays the tune differently. The little da 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 da. It, it does it as an ocarina sound instead. You got the ocarina. You should learn to play many songs. Okay. <sighs> I have the power. That's a nice ocarina you have there. Will you accompany me as I sing? <clears throat> the fox is like, if I could just squeeze through here, please. Never mind. I'll go the other way. <laughs> so, how do you like it? It's really touching, isn't it? Does it stick in your mind? Yes. You've learned the Ballad of the Windfish. This song will always remain in your heart. Please remember this song. You should play it every once in a while to keep it fresh in your mind. Got anything new over here besides the bow and arrow, brother? Oh, he's got the piece of heart I could buy, though. <gasps> but then I wouldn't be able to get the bow and arrow. I'm going to do it. I'm bad at saving money. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely worth it then. I didn't, I didn't know how many pieces I had, but yeah, okay. So now we go see damp. We're getting up on we're getting up on noon, so I'm not gonna do another dungeon yet. But I do wanna go see Gravedigger Boy. Buddy. Hey, there you are. I want to show you something interesting. You've gone poking into some of the ruins on this island. I can tell. I make little chambers based on those dungeons. Put some chambers into the slab back there and it turns into a real dungeon. How's that work, you ask? Who knows? But I want your help testing the limits of this thing. I want to hear about the dungeons you've seen. It inspires me to make new chambers for you. With a few chambers, you can make basic dungeons. With a bunch, you can make complicated ones. See if you can use what you got to finish the challenges I give you. Though you're not done once you finish arranging a dungeon, you've got to adventure through it too. I'm no designer though, and I'm no adventurer either. That's all up to you. I'll make the risk worth it. Impress me and there's treasure in it for you. Is that a chamber stone you've got there? I can make special chambers out of those. Bring them to me when you find them. You look like you've been through a lot. Sit down and tell me about it. <clears throat> you got some new chambers. Slot them into the dungeon to see what's inside. What are you here for? Arrange. Dungeon Arranging 101. So this is this is cool. I started this one already. Can you finish it? Make a path from the entrance to the Nightmare's Lair. There's got to be a stop along the way for its treasure chest. If a chamber's got an exit, you got to connect it to another exit. Nobody wants an exit that goes nowhere. Take the chambers from the menu on the right with A, slap them on a da, da, da. 
So the way this works is you're going to see some, some rooms. There's, there's actually quite a few rooms. You've got them facing in different directions. You've got rooms with multiple doors. Some of these rooms down underneath, you'll see where there's like a staircase icon, a locked door icon, a treasure chest icon. So to actually be able to make a working dungeon, you have to have no unfinished exits. You have to be able to get to the boss door and you need at least as many treasure chests as there are locked doors in your dungeon. Any extra treasure chests will randomly have different amounts of money in them. So you can actually make very easy dungeons. Like I, it, when I played it before, I actually made some dungeons specifically just to be super easy and then filled them with lots of extra treasure chest rooms so that I could make money faster to like buy the bow and arrow, for instance, stuff like that. So like right here, I'm gonna put this, this one here. The nightmare key is always gonna be in the last treasure chest you open. Any extra chests will have rupees and such. Okay. So now let's get a three-way room that faces down. And we'll get this one because it's got a treasure chest, no no locked doors or anything like that. That's just an easy peasy one. Um, just for fun, we'll put this here. Press Y to see what the deal is. Unconnected chambers, unconnected exits. Well, no, duh. So we'll bit put that there see so now this one's red because it's got an open exit so now we'll put a right facing treasure room behind a breakable wall. No, we don't want that one. Let's just get a nice easy one. <clears throat> Wait, that's the same one I just got. Hang on. This this is the one I want. So that's a locking door. So once you go in, you can't get out until you beat the, uh, the boss. Now, this. I'll set you up with all the bombs and such you'll need. After it's over, though, you'll have whatever you needed, whatever you had before. Okay. So now. Okay. And then I want to. I want to do it. Start. And every time, basically every unique room that you see in a dungeon will get added to your slot. So you have to keep coming back and talking to them when you defeat, when you beat dungeons. So these rooms are going to end up being just a mishmash of stuff from all eight of the main dungeons in the game. Plus the other little bonus things you get with the chamber stones. The, I was talking about the Link's Awakening amiibo earlier. I think that the room it unlocks c contains Shadow Link. Um... So there's a, it'll create a room where you can battle Shadow Link for a lot of money. But this should be super easy. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, we specifically made it easy because we're... I say we because I am a coward. So, blip. Oh, God. Sniper torches. map go this way <clears throat> jump Go 
go, 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 go. Okay. Now, and as these challenges go on, they are going to get harder, the types of maps you need to build. And I don't think it's actually possible to complete them all with the stuff you get right when you start. I think you do have to get fairly far into the game to actually... Um, have all the pieces you need to, to do everything. So now we'll go this way. F you. And that's a locked door down there, which I guess we could unlock if we wanted to. Um, we're not gonna need the key for anything else, right? Yeah, that's the only locked door in the dungeon. So just for 100% sake. Oh. Uh. Get out of here. And... Yep. And I feel like the rooms... It might be that the rooms have like a challenge rating associated with them, so better, harder rooms will give you more money. But even then, um, they're not going to generally... I mean... I've made I've made almost a hundred rupees just basically running through starter dungeon rooms. And I'll get some extra stuff here in a minute. There we go. <clears throat> there we go. There we go. There we go. Da 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 I don't know what that means, Kaurea. Oh, you mean like your work stuff? Okay. Oh, I missed! I missed... Question mark? There we go. Oh. Got him! Poof. He did. Dungeon Arranging 101 clear. We did it. What a show. There were times I'd swear you had one foot in the grave. A thrill like that deserves something from my collection in exchange. You got a chamber slotted into the dungeon to see what's inside. The rupees you find around the dungeon are a little bonus from me. You can keep them once the adventure's over. Watching you down there gave me an idea for a new challenge. It's ready whenever you want it. What are you here for? Nothing. Oh, well, no big deal. All right, y'all. Well, the boss is done, and I'm not specifically leaving because she's done, but I'm right at, I'm right at, dude. I could maybe do one more dungeon and go a few minutes over, but... I don't know why I double saved. I'm just, I'm spastic, but this was fun. I've enjoyed it a great deal. Um, I'm so happy I decided to play this again. I love this game. It makes me happy. So next time we're going to be going to a haunted cemetery. We're going to be exploring the desert. Um, we might get the flippers maybe, I think. Yeah, it's behind the waterfall. Yeah, we're going to go to the Angler's Cave, definitely. Um, I would say next time we're probably going to have at least two more dungeons finished. Um, we might do some more little custom dungeon challenges. Um, I might do a couple runs of some custom dungeons just to, just to be able to get the money for the bow and arrow. I don't know yet. Maybe not. I mean, I'm pretty close, and they, they, they do throw money at you in this game. So, um, yeah, this was a lot of fun. Thank you to everyone who came out today lurkers and chatters alike um big thanks to denaz for the gift sub for aeon i know he's been wanting a subscription to my channel for a long time now so we did it we got him we got him on there now he's spamming babies with the rest of us um so i am not going to be streaming tonight because i am going to be away as i was saying earlier thank you for the applause ma 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 um, but I will be back tomorrow, and depending on when we get home, I might play a little longer than normal because Monday's a holiday. So, 
who knows? Um, I spent a lot of time yesterday working on just a house in Fallout 4, just off stream. And that's really all I did. So I've kind of got the bug. I want to play some more Fallout 4. But we might do something else. I've been doing a lot of Fallout lately. Um, haven't decided yet. Depends on how tired I am when we get back. So Anyway, I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to start leaving. I wish you all a great weekend. I hope to see you all here again tomorrow night. But if I don't, then until next time, stay healthy. Stay safe out there, y'all. Later. <laughs>